Who else is excited about Tangled the series? There's so much to unravel about Disney's animated show based on the frying pan wielding princess. Hi, I'm Arielle with Channel Frederator, and we're about to brush out seven facts about Tangled the series. Don't forget to subscribe to Channel Frederator and hit that bell icon to become part of the notification squad. First things first, her hair grows back. Why does her hair grow back? How does her hair grow back? Well, if you've watched Tangled Before Ever After, all of those questions are answered, more or less. In case you haven't heard, Before Ever After is the movie-length pilot that kicked off Rapunzel's adventures with Eugene, Pascal, and Cassandra. Unlike the original Tangled, which was CG animated, Before Ever After pioneers a unique 2D style art for the rest of the series. On March 10th, 2017, it aired on the Disney Channel as a TV movie, bringing together fans of the original feature and budding new fans. All fans were ready to discover the Kingdom of Corona alongside Rapunzel. Later, reruns of the pilot were split up into two separate episodes. Executive producer Chris Sonnenberg mentioned that while developing the overarching story, the team looked at both Walt Disney Animation Studios' original feature and the Tangled Ever After short, the one where Rapunzel and Eugene get married. They began thinking about what happened between the kisses, as they like to call it. There's a line at the end of Tangled where Eugene says, After years and years of asking and asking, I finally said yes. So the team decided to fully expand on this joke. What if it did take Eugene years and years of asking Rapunzel before she said yes. What happened during those years? How did they grow as people? After asking all those questions while they were developing Before Ever After and the rest of the series, the creators had one thing in mind, aim to tell a story about how Rapunzel discovers who she is through daily adventure. Hopefully the audience would be able to learn a bit more about themselves while watching the show too. One of the many reasons fans were excited about the show was that the original cast from the feature would be returning as well. At first, Mandy Moore, who voices Rapunzel, and Zachary Levi, who voices Eugene, otherwise known as Flynn Rider, were a bit nervous to revisit the characters. The story felt complete, and they weren't exactly sure where else Rapunzel and Eugene's adventures could go. But after they were pitched the entire story, yes, Tangled the series has been plotted out from start to finish. Moore and Levi knew they had to step back into their character's shoes, or lack thereof. Sonnenberg explained that Rapunzel and Eugene were only just getting to know each other. Their love story wasn't over, it was just the beginning. Not to mention that Rapunzel's entire life outside the tower is new. She doesn't know anything beyond isolation, much less how to be a proper princess. According to Moore, it was an opportunity they couldn't pass up. Moore and Levi's involvement with the show isn't solely from an acting standpoint. Almost no one from the 2010 Features team was brought on to work on the show. The TV staff is basically a bunch of fans working on something they love, just like the DuckTales crew. So Moore and Levi were heavily involved with the development of their characters. Sonnenberg made sure that they had input when it came to the characters' motivations and actions. Moreover, the actors are filmed while recording lines. Many of the gestures that they make in the sound booth end up finding their way into the final animation, especially in Manny Moore's case. So they're pretty much the real-life embodiments of Raps and Eugene. Tangled the series isn't just Rapunzel and Eugene's story anymore. There are completely new additions to the OG crew, particularly Cassandra. Cass is, let's just say it, a badass. She brings a whole new dynamic to the group, giving Rapunzel a new friend to grow with, and Eugene a person to have friendly bickering with, especially now that he's buddy-buddy with Maximus. Cass was an interesting character to develop because she needed to fit right in with the characters that we know and love. If not done correctly, she could have felt like an awkward third wheel. Luckily, that wasn't the case. When it came to casting Cassandra, there was only one choice, Eden Espinosa. Having grown up in Anaheim, she even played Pocahontas at Disneyland, Espinosa had a dream to one day voice a Disney character. Previously, she auditioned for Rapunzel, then for Elsa until finally she managed to land the role of Cassandra. Dreams come true. Unlike the other auditions, Cass was the only character she didn't have to alter her voice for. A perfect match. Plus, Espinosa managed to become an important part of the Tangled franchise in the end. Full circle, baby. Cass isn't the only addition when it comes to reoccurring characters in the show. Varian is a fan favorite. Because how could you not love that precious face? I mean, look at it! Those puppy dog eyes just want to invent things! Varian might seem like a minor character at first, but he's actually very integral to the plot. Voiced by Newsy star Jeremy Jordan, there's a lot to expect from our fave alchemist. Since he's so sciencey, could Varian be the one to crack the reason behind Rapunzel's hair coming back? Or what those pointy rock things are? Which, side note, those rocks are based on Gibeon iron meteorites. Woo! Science fact! You could tell because I had trouble reading it. And then, of course, there are characters we've met before but didn't necessarily know much about. Rapunzel's parents now have personalities and <gasps> voices? The snuggly duckling thugs are trying to live out their dreams, and each of the royal guards have their own moment to shine. All of these characters emphasize the fact that there's more to Corona than we knew. Even though she wants to break free and see what the rest of the world has to offer, there's a lot to explore in the kingdom. Both Sonnenberg and Ben Balistery, another executive producer on the show, originally started their careers in traditional 2D animation while working on Mulan and Pocahontas 2 Journey to a New World. When it came to how they wanted to present the series, they decided to bring together their love for the traditional art form in their advocacy.
admiration for Tangled. While designing the visual style, they looked at Rapunzel's art. You know, the paintings that covered her walls in the tower as rendered by Claire Keane. It just makes sense that the show would be in her style, even if slightly altered. According to Balustri, the show isn't CG because Rapunzel's not going to be typing zeros and ones and getting mathematical equations down for a rig. She's going to be drawing everything out. To mimic the sense of her art, the crew focused on lines and colors. They wanted each line to appear like a brushstroke and try to avoid digital gradients since Rapunzel wouldn't be able to do that on paper. The style evolved from there, incorporating elements from other Disney classic films. Take Cinderella. Like the CG feature, the show utilized similar shape structure after studying the composition of the 1950 film. In the end, they wanted to make sure the show felt like something that came out of a storybook. Or in this case, the stories coming from a long-haired teenage girl's journal. Music was always going to be part of Tangled the series. With great hits from Alan Menken from the original feature, it only made sense. Sonnenberg made sure that the songs included in the series followed the Disney tradition of driving the story along and defining the characters that sing them. It helps that they managed to get Alan Menken back to write these new melodies. While not every episode in the series has a song, they show up when it's most important. Specifically in episodes which help move the overarching storyline forward. For example, the pilot, the midpoint, and the finale. In fact, one of these songs is so motivated that it became the series' opening theme. Wind in My Hair was a song in the pilot that expressed Rapunzel's new dream to go outside the walls and discover what the world has to offer. In fact, before the show was released, fans were teased with an early release of the song on YouTube that featured clips from Before Ever After. It was a great way to reintroduce people to one of their favorite for Disney stories while basically saying, this Tangled is going to be a lot like the Tangled you already know. Because the show is going to be carried along with music, it was essential that the cast could sing. We already know that Mandy Moore and Zachary Levi have pipes on them, whereas Pascal sings with his eyes. The rest of the cast can sing as well, from Rapunzel's parents to Varian. Seems like no member of the cast will go without a song. I mean, when you cast Broadway performers like Jeremy Dorden, you know you're going to get a good voice to match good music. There's a journal that Rapunzel's mom gives her in Tangled Before Ever After, in which an inscription reads, reads, plus et en vue. For some, it might seem a bit random. Why is there a French saying in a fictional land of Corona? I am asking that question myself right now. But to the show staff, it drives everything that they do. The reason the quote is in the show in the first place is because it originated from a moment that Sonnenberg had with Glenn Keane. For those who haven't seen our 107 Facts on Tangled, which we recommend you watch for all things Tangled, Keane paved the path that allowed Rapunzel to exist in the Disney universe by creating her visually. So when Sonnenberg knew that he'd be the next in line to tell Rapunzel's story, he asked Keane to draw him an image of the princess that would motivate him throughout the course of the show. On the illustration, Keane added four French words next to the long-haired princess, Plus est en vue. When Sonnenberg asked what it meant, Keen translated, there's more in you. He explained that there's more to Rapunzel than meets the eye. Like in the movie, when it seems that all of her magic is gone, she's able to squeeze out a final drop that saves Flynn's life. Plus est en vue means there is more inside someone if you dig deep enough. This doesn't just apply to Rapunzel and her friends. Sonnenberg hopes that everyone in the audience will realize that when they look within themselves, they can go beyond anyone's expectations. There's a lot more than just the series to get wrapped in. Alongside the show, several shorts have been release. In these, various characters get into silly scenarios, such as Pascal desperately trying to play a game of chess with the busy Maximus. While these shorts are more narrative and expand on a joke, the Disney Channel released a second type of Tangled series short. This series of shorts includes tidbits from Rapunzel's journal, aptly titled Inside the Journal. In the shorts, Rapunzel is basically writing down her thoughts and sharing them with us. She positively reflects on the lessons she's learned and motivates others to be as optimistic as she is. Ever wonder where Cassandra came from? She just sort of appears in the pilot and we accept that she's now Rapunzel's friend, and has been for a while. How did that happen? It wasn't that this story was skipped over, it was just brought to people through a different format. Released in July 2017, Rapunzel and the Lost Lagoon is a novel that explains how Rapunzel and Cassandra became best friends. In it, Rapunzel's parents tried to find her a lady-in-waiting while Cassandra, of course, is trying to become part of the Royal Guard. After they discover a secret lagoon with a potentially sinister secret attached to it, they have to work together to save the day. That's a lot of tangle to take in, but it may may not be all of it. After a fan asked Sonnenberg if there was a chance that there would be a spin-off of the series, he replied, stay tuned. What could this mean? What could a spin-off of Tangled entail? Adventures with Pascal and Max? A story about how Eugene became Flynn Rider as a young boy? More about Cassandra's past? It's exciting just thinking about it, even if it doesn't happen. Once again, I'm Ariel. Thanks for unraveling seven facts about Tangled the series with us. Which was your favorite? Is there anything we left out? Let us know in the comments below. We release new videos every day, so make sure to subscribe to tell us what show you want us to tackle next. And don't forget to click the bell icon to become part of our growing notification squad. Remember, Red Rider loves you!